Welcome. This is Peter's Painting Blog, number something, on days February 10th, 11th, and 12th of 2021. I think these were all painted on February 10th, but it took me a couple of days to edit the video. I at first wanted to paint on both, both of these wooden panels at once, but the two easels I bought were extremely rickety and uh, weak. So I ended up, uh, my first step was to paint both of them black. And after that step, I ended up just working on one at a time, kind of switching back and forth between them, which ended up being a very fun uh, technique also, because whenever I had the even the slightest amount of uh, hesitancy of what to do next, I could just take that painting off, put the other painting up and work on that one. And then plus it would uh, give each painting time to dry in between uh, the interval while I was working on the other one. So it was really cool working on two paintings at once. And I think in the future I could even work on more at once, like four at once or more. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, I Definitely after this, I got to go buy some more wood panels stuck up again. Uh, I used golden heavy body acrylic paints for this, which is pretty much just the most expensive ones I could find. Uh, yeah, they are expensive, but they go far and, uh, they do, it does seem to make a difference to buy more expensive paints, which usually I don't like to admit that buying more expensive art supplies makes a difference because I feel like it discourages people who are new to art making. Like I usually like just to say, Hey, you know, just get a pen and some paper, start drawing. Uh, but I have noticed that the more expensive paints seem to be a little bit more satisfying to use. Also, I think I like this method of doing two paintings at once a little better than doing just one at a time, because then at the end of the night, I have two paintings completed instead of just one. That's a great feeling because it's kind of like a whole thing to get, you know, the easel set up and the paintings out and the brush, the, the paint out and the brushes and the, all your little things like bits of water and paper towels and this and that, right? And they're mentally and emotionally or physically ready to paint. Might as well do two, right? Or more. I think next time I'll do at least four. We'll see. Because, wait, first let me talk about this video. The, the actual videography, the recording of it was maybe the most difficult part of the painting. The painting went well. I loved the painting. But it wasn't until afterwards when I sat down to edit it that uh, I ran into some hiccups because usually I record myself just doing drawings, you know, pencil, usually pen on a piece of paper. And that's much more uh, straightforward than recording myself painting. Because when I do painting and record that, there's a lot more uh, factors to consider, such as how I can so much more easily get in the way of my cameras. And uh, so a lot of this footage, I ended up just recording the back of my arm and the back of my hand and my sleeves and stuff like that. And uh, so, I, I don't know, in the future, uh, I'm excited because I'll, I'll figure out a better way to record this in that, I don't know, the angle will always be kind of weird, right? The angles, but I'll figure out some angle and then I'll put my cameras on uh, some mode where they're not on automatic exposure adjustment and automatic focus. I'll manually set the exposure, manually set the focus, and everything should go a lot more smoothly. And I'll put them at an angle where I'm not blocking all the shots. Okay, that's fine, all right. So there were a few little hiccups with the recordings, but the paintings, oh, let me tell you, the painting itself went amazingly, swimmingly. There's this feeling sometimes that you get into when you're painting. I'm saying you, but I'm talking about me, this feeling I get into when I'm painting. And it's just incredible. The, there's the way that with paint, you can put all these shapes and, and colors and feelings, I guess, onto the canvas so quickly. And it all just kind of blossoms out in front of you so fast. And uh, it feels good. I... In, in that moment, let me tell you, first of all, this happened fast. These two paintings took me, uh, I did them both in under, under an hour, I think. I was listening to an album called MBDTF, and I finished them before the album was over. And it's kind of a weird feeling because I usually spend a lot more time doing my drawings. And it was that feeling when I sit, maybe you've, you're sitting there in school and you're taking an exam 
and you finish the exam and you're the first one to finish and you look up and everyone else and you're like, wow, that was easy. And you look up and everyone else is still heads down, sweating away, uh, struggling with their exam. And then you have a second thought, a thought of horror where you think, whoa, maybe I did something uh, awfully wrong. Maybe I didn't understand the exam. Maybe it wasn't easy. Maybe I did, uh, maybe I've made a bunch of huge mistakes here with this exam. And then you open it back up and there's a big chance that if you go back into the exam and start changing your answers, uh, that you could change some answers that you had marked right. You could change them to answers uh, that are incorrect, right? So that's a that's a big gamble. And so I had this problem. When I finished these paintings, um, I was like, wow, that didn't take very long, but I like where they're at right now. But I feel like it happened so fast. I felt a little bit guilty for doing them so quickly. I had to convince myself that it was okay. It was okay to stop right there. It's better to stop right there and then just, you know, I don't know. I guess the sooner I'm finished with those, the sooner I can go ahead and do the next ones. And wherever you stop, you end up learning something for the next paintings, whether it's the next paintings you want to go a little further or if you overdid it with those paintings, you Maybe you want to stop a little sooner. I think these ones I learned to stop a little sooner because the previous paintings where I had gone too far and overpainted them, right? But oh yeah, like I was saying, it was this incredible feeling like I was in the middle of painting masterpieces and I was completely convinced of it. It was this kind of a weird um, thrill. And I, I, in the back of my mind, I knew like, hey, this this video could be the will probably be the only time anyone ever sees these paintings or thinks about them. Uh, but it just felt like I could do no wrong. And I was happy that I had somehow slipped into that frame of mind, right? I wasn't second guessing myself. I wasn't um, giving myself a hard time about any of the, 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 the decisions I was making. Everything was just flowing out of the, out of the paintbrush. And I was like, these are incredible paintings and I love them and it felt good to make them. I don't know. It was just a good time and I want to do it more. That's, uh, I don't know how else to, it's, uh, I felt like I love, I like the paintings, but better than the paintings themselves, the feeling that I got while I was making them. I, I know I'll, I'll think about it more because there's got to be some better way to describe it. If you can have some paints and some pieces of something to paint on. These are, I think, birch wood panels. Um, I don't know. Try it sometime. Don't, you know, try not to overthink it is all I think. I think that's the key. And, uh, yeah, you can't mess up. You cannot mess up. Not even if you tried, you couldn't. There's no wrong answers. I don't know if there are right answers either, but yeah, you got this. All right. All right. Good work, everyone.